Okay. All right. Bari, thank you for joining us to our second episode of the Bell Podcast. And today we're going to talk about mommy makeovers. So I'm so excited about that. Thank you for letting me join you. Yeah, you are a treatment coordinator here in Draper, and you've been with us how long? Four and a half years. Okay, well, anyone who's gotten a chance to talk to Mari comes out raving. I have sent many friends and family here, and it's just a great place to come and understand what Bell is. Thank you. Uh, well, I'm stoked to talk, talk about mommy makeovers. Me too, actually, me too. So I guess to get started, would you mind describing what even is a mommy makeover at Bell? Yeah, no, no, no. Okay, it's three areas of fat removal of your choice and a fat transfer to either the breast or the booty, okay. depending on your preference. All right. I cannot do both. I do get a lot of women coming in wanting to know if they can do it at the same time to both. Okay, so and that's, that's important for them to realize that that's not possible at the same time. At the person. same time. And a second procedure possibly, sure. but choosing an area in the first round is yeah. the best bet. Okay. And honestly, we find that that is the most common concern, right? Yeah. With most of us. It's just abdomen probably. Do you think most women pull from abdomen? I would say yes. Okay. <laughs> Men and women, not that the men do the transfers, but yeah. Yeah, a lot of patients will pull from the abdomen. From the abdomen, and then they can transfer those fat cells. So what is the advantage of doing it naturally in your mind, Mari? I just love the gentle, the gentle, very natural look, right? And it, it's a, I like to call it a soft enhancement or um, a very real. You're not going to have to explain your look to anyone they will just wonder how you did that <laughs> why why do you look that much yeah. better right you look so good what is it what's your secret what are you doing because it's natural mm -hmm. and i think the body accepts it that way it's visually you know that way i think it's just incredible in addition to the fact that it is our own natural body so we have less concern there with rejection of course yeah. i'm having more and more patients come in requesting information about it because they want that just that natural enhancement they don't want something foreign in their body right this really is the best option right for someone with those parameters in their treatment um requests well it's you know we joke about it but like how often have you heard years ago we would say well if i could just take this and move it here <laughs> right but yeah we truly can do that there's no gimmick it's a real thing it's so fun to see the reaction on patients faces when you say yep we can do that because they're like well, wait, can you put fat from here to here? And I say, yeah. Yeah. And they're like, wait, what? <laughs> yeah, right. And I, I guess it's a fun way to explain how gentle we remove fat at all. Yeah. Right. It, you know, it's in regards to liposuction, um, it's different from liposuction. Maybe explain that. Well, this tumescent liposuction process is um, really the way you can go into the body um, using ultrasonic vibration, which is going to cause far less cellular damage than any other type of liposuction because it's not the goal of the device. Like for a laser or for traditional, their goal is to damage those fat cells to remove them. Right. That's the reason we have such good luck with transfers and such successful mm -hmm. transfers is because that ultrasonic vibration is going to stimulate collagen instead of scar tissue. Right. It's just a gentle, easy, effective way. And then from that, those fat cells are living, mm -hmm. and then we transfer them. So it's a similar, it's like a stem cell process in a, in a way. In a way. Yeah. Not completely, but in the way that we're able to remove one area and improve another. It's really fun to show before and after photos because you can see, <clears throat> excuse me, you can see patients understanding that the volume that we've removed from one area is then placed into a new area. Mm. What I like to tell patients and what I find interesting is the science behind it. So if you think about a woman, we get fat cells when we're born, we get them at puberty and a pregnancy. Okay. After these events in our lives are completed, we don't get any new fat cells. But what we will realize is those fat cells are going to grow or shrink depending mm -hmm. Yeah, if we gain or lose weight. Right. So when we take 50 to 70% of the volume from one area of your body that you really have more volume than you wish due to genetics or hormones, mm -hmm. your, um, and then you move it to the breast, 
And then, you know, a percentage of that will attach and it will stay. Now, when you gain five pounds, it goes you're, there. Yeah, you're going to have more fat cells in the breast than you did ever before, than you could have had genetically or any other way. Right. And then your abdomen or wherever we pulled the fat cells from is going to have far fewer. So, hey, those five extra pounds look right. pretty good on me. That's so true. And honestly, like, who doesn't... I don't think any woman's going to complain that their breasts got a little bit bigger or their booty no. because those are areas that we do want to see enhanced. Yes. And and the, really the tragedy of when we're always struggling with weight loss and we're trying to really it's it's because sometimes you're you're going to lose volume in areas you don't want to. That's this true. This really helps you combat that. So now you're going to shape the area smaller that you want smaller and keep the area bigger that you want bigger. And the body will respond to that. Like you said, at the five pounds, going on a trip or mm -hmm. hormones or whatever, yeah. all of a sudden, that's where you're going to see a difference versus in your abdomen mm -hmm. or your thighs, right? It's so nice because then you don't have that guilt that you associate with those little bumps and bulges that we all have that we just- The ups and downs. It's gone. Yeah. Right. I know. It's, um, it's actually amazing. Mm -hmm. So let's talk a little bit about the why behind it, like the confidence that you've seen in being able to touch so many people here. You see women coming in feeling really discouraged or feeling like this little spot, I've been running, eating well, I've been at the gym, I've been, they're killing themselves right, to really get right, that day. body that right. they're, they're working so hard for. Mm -hmm. And we can literally just say, oh, okay, you want that gone? And right. oh, you want this bigger, by the way? Right. Let's we can it. do that. And then when they actually see it as a reality, they're like, <laughs> I know. It's so fun. And you see them just stand up straighter. You see them presenting themselves with more confidence. Honestly, confidence is beautiful and confidence leaks into every aspect of what we do, Wendy. I think know. about it. It's, it's in so your true. personal relationships. It, it comes out at work. It will come out as your parenting. It will come out at school, wherever as you a, are. As a wife, yeah. right? At wherever you are. Right. That confidence is beautiful and also it will bring you more confidence yeah it really does and it's so fun to bring femininity back to a body um i've been a part where i've seen a provider set up a patient to say what do you think and they cry yeah they like oh i feel like a woman again i have my femininity back yeah. in those transfers i've 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 heard story after story just like that too women feeling so discouraged because they're finally at the weight they want to be, and now they're really it's not the same in the breast. Yeah, yeah, it's just not the same. So we're able to take part of their body that really hasn't. You see, they, you know, we they've tried everything, yeah. right? Just not responding and not responding, and then we're able to say, okay, well, it will respond in your in your chest and in your booty or. And great, that fat won't go away. Let's move it where you want it. That's right. I know. And that's that's really amazing. So, you know, we're in the business truly of self-esteem. Mm -hmm. And you you touched on this before, and I want to go into this a little bit more, but being able to take confidence and making changes in your life. Mm -hmm. So do you want to speak to that a little bit? Of, because that's the power, right? Is unlocking the superpower of confidence inside of us. Mm -hmm. Why do you think that is such a big thing with our bodies? Well, I mean, honestly, society is teaching everyone that their body is their self-worth. I know. And it's really, it's really fun to actually say, no, it's not. It's yeah. not. You're awesome. You're amazing. You're and fantastic. Just like you are. Person. Exactly. Just like you are. But if this little thing that is bothering you when you go in the closet and you're getting dressed or when you're shopping online, you can't buy it because you're nervous about this one little area of the body. If this brings confidence that now it's just so, it's just one less thing to worry about. We have a stack this high of things it's so true. that we're just constantly in the back of our mind trying to figure out. This is one less thing for you to think about every day. And so you're able to think about other people better. Other people, that confidence just brings more beauty and the beauty that you have then is you can inspire others to feel more confident and beautiful. And mm -hmm. I love that. When I, I've actually um, seen patients just come in their first post-op. I had a girl once come in and she treated one area and it was just the fat removal and it was in one area, but she tried everything. She'd done cool sculpting. She tried dieting exercise. She wasn't a large person at all, just a I, smaller girl. And 
I told her, just give us a chance. Just try us out. Just this one area. And she came back at her first post-op. And she said, I want to talk to you. And I, I was like, like oh, no. oh, my gosh. You've been on <laughs> one day. Oh, no. Okay, no, come no, on in. So we no. go in the office. And she started to cry. And she said, I have never been this small in my flanks. Oh. And I was like, oh, now you're making me cry. Yeah. We Which cry is a tricky area. Together. Flanks and, are tricky. Yeah, flanks are tricky. Mm -hmm. But... The confidence she felt, even after one day, she's still really swollen. And I told her to buckle up. She's getting smaller. <laughs> she's yeah. got some healing to do. Wow. So it was that, like, just those rewarding days. And, I mean, and that happens all the time. Yeah. Patients right. will say, you did for me what I couldn't have done on my own. I've been trying forever to fix this. Yeah. Well, and I've had the opportunity to work with you for a long time. And everything you do is authentic. So I don't, I, it's fun to hear you say like, I you wouldn't be here if it wasn't working. If it didn't right? work, no, I couldn't do my job. Either. No, and I know that about you. Yeah. And I, and I, that is one of your greatest strengths as a person that I have enjoyed seeing is that you've attached to something that you know actually works. And, and not only works, but changes their life. And gives competence back. And really that is in my mind what we're in the business of. Yes, we do have a solution in getting them there, but at the end of the day, we want them to leave us better than we found them yeah. internally. Like That's so that they then can go do all that they were intended to just pay it forward. To do. Yeah. And we talked about this a little bit last week, um, Ariana and I, just like once you look in the mirror and you can say it's good, mm -hmm. then you don't have to think about you anymore. And I think that's what slows us down as human beings in general is like we go into the world to do what we need to do work or being a parent or you name it. And we're so caught up in the insecurities that we're unable to unlock everything else inside of us that gives to so many people. Right. And you know what you find about especially women, I find, is that when they are insecure, sometimes that can come out in a negative way in the Fun. aspect where they can be unkind or they're perhaps because they're just so unhappy that they start to mistreat people around, around them. them. Yes, and it's really more a reflection of how they feel about themselves mm -hmm. than it is um, the person that they may be mistreating. Right. So by the time you can fix that, whatever that insecurity might be, that's going to really change her life mm -hmm. and for those around them too because mm -hmm. mm -hmm. they start to just feel more confident and, and more kind and loving. Right. And they can... They can just perpetuate that right. in their life. I mean, that negative energy really does bring more negative energy. So if you can flip that around to positive energy, they're going to have also the snowball effect with that. I totally agree. As And we've seen it and we mm -hmm. see it all the time. Mm -hmm. um, it's interesting because there's a lot we can't control in this life. And it's fun to be able to have a solution of something we actually can control. Mm -hmm. And the removal of stubborn fat is... And the transfer of that fat is just something that we can do. And it's fabulous. <laughs> yeah, and it is. And I think I have noticed, and you you know, in your time here, have you felt like a better version of yourself too? Just it's definitely. Yeah, I know, and yeah. me too. I talk to I speak to that all the time with patients. I will sometimes even show them my before photo. I'm like, yo, check this out. Because <laughs> it takes courage to say, okay, I want to address an area of my body that I have not liked or that's holding me back or that I feel insecure in. Yeah. And I guarantee you, it doesn't matter how beautiful you look to everyone else. There's something on your mind. <laughs> it's between us and ourselves, unfortunately. Yeah, we, so, mm -hmm. and that's really what, when we're the ones having to get dressed mm -hmm. and, you know, we, again, we talked about this last week and there is a power in putting on things you've never been able to put on before. That's another thing we hear yeah. with these moms. Like, I can wear things that I haven't worn forever. Or it was in the back of my closet. Or mm -hmm. I never could wear it at all. Right. Right. Like sleeveless tops or whatever it may be. Like tackling the arms or whatever. Yeah, all of a sudden, there's confidence in that. Um, so moms in general, we, we give up a lot of our body mm -hmm. yeah. to bring human beings into this world. And I think that's why mommy makeovers are extremely special to me, mm -hmm. is to be able to say, hey, you've given your body, right? Well, we sacrifice everything for the kids, right? Time, <laughs> <laughs> like sleep, and careers, sleeps, 
Yeah. Yeah. There's so much that goes into being a parent and for moms, especially Mm -hmm. when it comes to their sacrifice of the body. Yeah. And I think you mentioned this earlier in our conversation is giving permission that it's not your fault. You have tried everything. Like it's not even your fault. It's not your fault that you had a donut last week. Even it's like, it's just not your fault. It's okay. Because hormonal fat does what? What does hormonal fat do? It calls for more fat. It, yep. So yep. then you're just in this cycle of lose lose. Like your hormonal fat is asking your body to place more fat. So you'll just keep growing those fat cells until you can remove some of them exactly. to really calm that cycle down. That and you know, we this is not necessarily part but kind of a part of mommy makeovers. We talk about menopause. That's another time when women um, who have had babies mm-hmm. and maybe didn't tackle that mommy makeover younger. Now you're seeing more impact of hormones, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah. And Um, hormones, it can really take a toll. It wrecks us. And so all of a sudden, women that have been like, well, I've been able to maintain. I didn't have to do anything. Mm -hmm. But now I'm in menopause. And now what? Because I'm now seeing more around my midsection, um, hips, you name it, right? Exactly. They come in and they're so frustrated. And then on top of that, they're hormonal. So this is a really sad and hard, difficult time for them. So it's really nice to be able to give them a solution that they can address these concerns, you know, and just take care of it because they've got they've got a lot to live for. They're beautiful and they've they're just this is a new phenomenon to them. They're like, what's happening to my And they didn't change anything. They feel like just one day they woke up and it's yeah, all different. Like, who invited you to this party? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. yeah, no, it's terrible. And I so I think it's just so interesting to not to help people not feel guilt yeah. right do you not see a lot of people that sit down yeah i just felt a lot of guilt for even so being there pressure right yeah like just i pressure to be perfect pressure for and and it's a lot of it's from society a lot of itself you know we put it on ourselves that we're just so hard on ourselves not I, I have women come in that i mean you, you would look at them and think they're perfect they're mm-hmm. beautiful there's what could they possibly need and they will break down. They just have are completely frustrated with one or two little areas that, and or maybe they just feel like they really haven't ever been able to put weight where they want to put it. Mm-hmm. So let let us help you. We all have our individual journey with our bodies, yeah. and I think that we what we hope here at Bell is that we empower mm-hmm. people in every body type to just partner with us in one way or another and helping them just feel better in their body. And what I also love is this, I mean, this process, watching patients get encouraged by those inches reducing will inspire health and fitness. Yeah, it will absolutely. A healthier. Other, yeah, other levels like, oh, well, now my cholesterol's dropped and this is happening. And we didn't do that. They did. Right. Well, hormones even now. I mean, uh, there's, there's so many health benefits. Um, and, and people, have you found that sometimes you'll be visiting with patients that just don't want to give themselves permission to spend money on? Oh, yes. Right. Because if they just ate better, if they, if just they worked just a little harder, added 30 more minutes to their workout, maybe then we'll their get Their three it. hour workout. <laughs> exactly. Right. How do you get past that? The money concern? Oh, goodness. Well, especially okay. with mommy makeovers, right? Because at that point, you're like in the thick of kids and they need oh, I know, the money. Yeah. So how do you do that? Well, what I would I would caution you just to look at as a as a parent is yes, you um your but your health, your mental health, your all of that takes a toll and, and a cost. Yeah. How much money are you spending on supplements to feel better? Right. How how, how much money are you spending at the therapist? How much money? Like honestly, once you feel better about yourself, it it's priceless. It's well worth right. the few thousand dollars. And I really learned is. over, and I'm sure you have too, as you've raised your kids. Um, kids just want a happy mom. Oh yes, that's it. Yeah, yes. want a happy. And mom. so does your spouse. And uh, yeah, absolutely, your spouse and your kids just want a happy mom. And so I think that said, then like really putting your health as the priority, mental health, physical health all of that as a priority and then coming to the right place for a solution to that which i'm really proud to say we it like if if someone spends time here it, with their bodies they will get guaranteed results yeah we want we want what you want 
Like, honestly, we're just as invested as you are. Right. We're going to work hard to give you those outcomes. And we do it every day, every day. All right. One thought is recovery. Moms are busy and like, tell us the advantages here. I, I hell with recovery. I love that because honestly, the the greatest thing about this process is how quickly you can recover. And especially yeah. the moms, because you have no option but to move and we no. need you to move. That's right. That's right. And we want you to move. That's part of the protocol, right? Part of the protocol is to get up and move the very next day. Right. So it really, you can vacuum, you can cook, you can, you can do most all of the things you need right. to do as a mom. You can pick up your babies. You can pick them up. You can, you're going to be sore and you're going to feel that, but it's part of the recovery. Yeah. So. Which is really awesome because the more you move, the more you drink water, the better, the better it is. So really just we're saying jump right back in if you can. Mm -hmm. Because, and that's what we encourage. So I think that's one of the, it's like, it's crazy that you can transform a body like we do instantaneously, especially the transfers. I mean, you mentioned, I mentioned a patient, you said you've been many patients for that's an instantaneous, mm -hmm. like, wow. I, it's life changing. They're just so excited to have this new body. I just, I just know that we change lives. Mommy makeovers change lives. Mm -hmm. And it's just fun to, to be a part of that. I had a beautiful patient came in with, um, she just had more volume in her, her, her thighs that she really liked. And she felt like she really would love some more volume in the breast. Okay. And so we did that and her, her light and just energy changed her positive nature. I mean, she always had great energy, but when she came back, you could just sense that just little troll that sense of control she had <laughs> yeah over her body now yeah it was so beautiful was well and, and I, we talked about that a little bit with like so many things are out of our control mm -hmm. but to take a stubborn area that we probably haven't been very nice to <laughs> and put it somewhere that we wanted it to be and look and feel more beautiful because of it i know <laughs> it's empowering right it really is yeah well my thank you for your time with us thank, thanks for visiting on this podcast and we look forward to more insights here and, and more conversations in the future. Thanks for having me, Wendy. You're welcome.